Give it up for Betty Smithsonian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. make some noise for all the comedy show tonight. Yeah. Look at us, look at us. Look at all of us. Look at our beautiful faces. Look at that, look at everyone. I'm not listening to this bullshit. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Gosh, it is kind of incredible, these shows. I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but just take a look, left and right. Look at you. Good looking, handsome group. Go ahead, look left and right. We did this in rehab. This is really good. Wow. Yeah. Y'all, I'm really excited to be here. I really am excited. I, uh, my wife and I are in the process of adopting. We're adopting a kid. <laughs> yes! You guys knew I was gay when I walked up here though, right? <laughs> Have you seen me? <laughs> Come on now. Anyone, anyone surprised by that statement? That I'm gay, big giant gay on stage? <laughs> no? Gay and Jewish too. <laughs> Fucking her own role here. <laughs> you know what's in, even in, more insane? You're sober. I'm also sober. Like in 20, 22 years up here. <laughs> that is correct. Got sober when I was six months old. <laughs> Fantastic. I am. Uh, I'm super excited though about having. A, we're in the process of adopting, so I don't know if anyone knows how that works. It's like. It's a pretty wild experience. We're, we're in an, an agency that does infant adoption, so I'm excited we're gonna get an infant. And I hope we get a baby with a job. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> How cool would that be? Right out of the gate, just the money coming in? That'd be great. It'd be fantastic. But uh, I mean, we're filling out this form. The thing with the adoption is kind of wild. This agency, uh, you have to fill out what's called a family matching form, which is basically my wife and I go through, and we have to go through and, and pretty much specify what we're willing to consider in the adoption. What are we willing, not just, we're not just talking race, gender, we're talking unbelievable background, history, chemistry, family, cousins, his, education, everything you could possibly think of. My wife and I are like, oh my God, this is so intense, you know? And we like look at each other and we're like, you know what? No matter what happens, no matter what child we get, we are going to raise that kid as a black woman. <laughs> as a trans black woman. As a gluten-free trans black woman. Yeah, no, but I'm excited. And I'm, uh, who makes some noise? Who's got kids here? Make some noise. Anyone got kids? <laughs> Just too exhausted. Oh, are they here? Uh, you got kids? Yeah. One child? Yes. Yes. And you? You have one child? You got two? Three. Three? You have two, and you have three. We both have three. You both have three. Yeah, Are you? Three. Yeah, is it the same three? No. You have six total? Yes. Just did that math. Yeah. Six total? That's phenomenal, man. I usually when I ask if anyone has kids, there's always some douchebag in the audience that's like, not that I know of. <laughs> what are you saying? What a fucking loser. What are you What are you even saying, dude? What are you saying? I once had sex with a woman. <laughs> sure did. She never wants to talk to me again. Yeah. What kind of man, dudes just love? They love bragging about getting their dicks wet. It is their. They fucking love it. Like you don't even. Even if we all know someone that has said that, not that I know of, right? Some weird uncle, a teacher, something problematic, right? Just like what? Like you're actually saying there's. 
there's a woman out there that would rather do the hardest thing ever <laughs> and raise a child all by herself than ever be in the same fucking room with your piece of shit personality? <laughs> Not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> Douchebags. Left and right. I am at... I do. I imagine that guy at the grocery store in like 20 years, he's checking out, the cashier's like, do you have any coupons, sir? He's like, not that I know of. <laughs> and then at that moment, someone else steps out of line and is like, did you just say not that I know of? <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> did you once have sex with a woman? <laughs> and then never talk to her again? <laughs> Sounds like me. Dad? <laughs> Son? Such idiots, man. I like how in that joke I make their voices exactly the same. And you would think I'd do that because I have some specific, like really deep, well-written joke idea. No. All dudes sound like that to me. That's all dudes, the impression. Oh, oh. <laughs> I literally, I'd be like, oh, did you see the interview between Bill Clinton and Barack Obama? It was wild. Bill Clinton was like, oh, oh, oh. and then Barack was like, not that I know of. <laughs> All a bunch of fucking douchebags. <laughs> Yo, yeah, man, I'm fucking excited about being a parent, though. I will say, I'm gonna be an older parent. This will be my first time being a parent, and I am in my late 70s. <laughs> um, not everyone is laughing at that. And that feels, I hear that, I hear that. But uh, I was telling my friend about this, and I said, I'm feeling insecure about being older, right? I'm gonna have this little baby, and I'm gonna be a million years old, <laughs> and it's gonna be a gazillion years in the future. And I'm feeling, I'm really feeling insecure about it. And I was uh, telling my friend, and she's like, oh, please, get over it. First of all, shut the fuck up with that advice. Get over it. What? And uh, she's like, how old are you even? And I was like, oh. I was like, oh, no, no. You know, I told her my age. And then she was like, and she sort of went from being optimistic. <laughs> she went like this. She was like, oh. <laughs> and then she fucking says this. She's like, wow, you're going to be considerably older than your kid. <laughs> fuck. And then I was like, I said to her, what the fuck? And then she sort of was like, oh, oh, oh. And she was sort of justifying it. And she goes, she says this. She's like, well, my grandmother had my mom at 17. And then my mom had me at 19, and then I had my kid, my daughter at 23. And it was great, you know, at Thanksgiving, all four generations of women were together. It was really great. And I'm like, uh-huh. You're saying all four generations of whores made it to Thanksgiving? <laughs> wow. Where'd you have Thanksgiving, you fucking slut bag? A brothel? Jesus Christ. <laughs> How'd you even eat turkey at all? With all the dick in your mouth, you fucking bitch. All right. <laughs> oh, she's a friend to this day. <laughs> you guys have been fantastic. I've been Betty J. Sousanian. Thank you so much for your time.